Welcome everyone, Mike with Bowers Barbecue coming to you today from the outskirts of downtown Fort Worth. In today's video, we're visiting a barbecue joint that started off as a pop-up and now has evolved to a food truck here in Fort Worth. We're ready to check it out, but first, we gotta start the fire. times that we're living in. All right, so it appears they're currently cooking on the 500 gallon, little Chukarosco smoker made here in Texas. On occasion, they also do whole hog. Here's their brick setup for that with the burn barrel. This will be a lot of fun. Work hard, be nice, eat barbecue. I can get behind that. You know the problem with a lot of barbecue joints are not enough seating? Not the case here. Check this out. All this over here. All along the fence. Come back here. You have the bar. Behind the bar, more here. Whole other patio. And if outdoors isn't your thing, you can come inside. Just like he did. All right, five minutes after ordering, I have my plate. Let's take a look at what we got. So we have the house-made Texan sausage. We have spare ribs. We have brisket, loaded potato salad. And what I'm looking forward to the most is the Flaming Hot Cheeto Street Corn. I cannot wait. All right, so it's a nice cool day. Like I said, it only took about five minutes to get my food. I absolutely love this. Let's dig in. They gave me a little bit of a burn in to try here. Take a look at that. Nice little smoke ring, looking good. And it tastes phenomenal. That is perfectly rendered. The um, the salt, the pepper, very mild, but the sweet smoke. This is this is damn good. <laughs> My favorite slice. Look at that. It's where the point meets the lean. Unreal. Look how juicy that lean is. I'm telling y'all, do not sleep on the lean. If you're going to a barbecue joint that knows what they're doing, Dane knows what he's doing, you wanna get that lean. It is a phenomenal cut, not overpowering and rich like the point. I really like that a lot. Okay, so normally I don't dig into the sides before I finish all the meats, but I'm really trying, or really looking forward to trying this corn. Give it a go. good. The sweet, the mayo and crema, a little bit of that cojita cheese, I don't know if I pronounced that right, with the, um, the crushed Cheetos, a little spice. That's really, really good. Let's try again. Alright, next up these ribs. Look at that. Look at that. It's like a jingle bell glisten this Christmas. This is awesome. That was a lame joke, I know. Good bite through. This is ridiculous. That is smoky and sweet. Little bit of heat from the pepper, nothing overpowering whatsoever. And it's a mild sweet. This is this is some damn good barbecue. Man, Fort Worth is so lucky. So many great places around here. Dane just adds to this. Oh my gosh. 
Next up, comes potato salad. Very creamy. I mean, it tastes like a, a baked potato. This is really good. It is cold. It has the um, mashed potato consistency, which I personally like. It's really good. Next up, the house-made sausage. Look at that. Look at that juice. That is insane. Come on, family, focus. That is so good. The perfect grind, perfect amount of spice and seasoning. Not, not spicy at all, but it's got a, a small kick. I think most people could actually eat this. This is perfect. This is perfect. I um, I kind of wish now they had some turkey and pulled pork, as well as their um, bacon brisket. But well, you know what that means? I'm gonna do another video here. This is so good. Uh, Pinkerton's in Houston. Yeah, appreciate it. Man, that was some good barbecue. I'm so happy with what's happening with the Fort Worth barbecue scene. If you live in North Texas, you don't have to go to Austin. Why, wow, there's fantastic barbecue there. Fort Worth, it really has it going on. I um, I love every bit of my meal. The, um, the ribs, the brisket, all of it, the whole package. I mean, it's not very often that you find something that has great barbecue for each meat that you try as well as fantastic sides. I, I really love it here. It's an awesome atmosphere. They have music, they have um, shade for the summer. Uh, it's, it's a great place to be. Uh, right now only open on Saturday at time of filming, but rumor is starting in 2021, it'll be open on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. See, 2021 is already off to a good start, so we have that going for us. All right, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to like this video. If you want to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And y'all have a great day. The fire is out. The fire is really not out. I don't know what I'm talking about. That was very out on the woo of me.